Hello, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. Today we're taking a look at is the LG Intuition. This is a device that's been revealed internationally as the LT Optimus U. Uh, we saw it first at Mobile World Congress. Um, what we're going to be looking at here today is not only some of the user interface aspects, like here's the lock screen, uh, but we're going to be looking at some of the NFC as well. Now what you can do here is you can open it from any place on the screen, uh, just swipe it to get it open. You can also get to your notifications from the front screen as well. That's because we're working with Ice Cream Sandwich. And you can also start from any of these little things. So we'll go straight into camera here. Uh, what you can see here, we won't do too much photography, but you can see uh, this has a lovely interface here. You can do things like this, uh, work with audio. You can go different uh, camera modes like panorama and continuous shot and all that. Uh, you can see some of the examples we got in the review separately. We took a bunch of photos at uh, Times Square. So that's where we first saw this device. Uh, late, uh, you know, earlier this month. So, what you're seeing here is again ice cream sandwich. You pull, pull down your uh, notifications so you can knock them off the front like that, or go straight into them like that. Um, you've also got some options up here. You can go straight from silent mode to sound. You can go straight into quick memo here. And now quick memo, I, I restarted it here so you can sort of see what we're going through. Uh, it it just shows you how to use the the uh, key at the top of your device to get to quick memo, or just uh, go through it the way we did. Now if you're in Quick Memo, you can see that it, it just went from the screen we're on to here. So you can use this as a thing to um, take screenshots or you can use it to, uh, you know, go to just a memo mode like that. We're going to go back to screenshot, just to show you that once you're here, you can draw on the screen like so. You can go back like that to undo. You can go right here to switch the kind of pen or different colors like that. So we have a different kind of pen like that. And there we go. And we also have an eraser here, so you can erase like that. Right here we can clear all. You can also go like this, pop that away so you have more writing area. You can go like this so you can only use part of it. And you can go ahead and share. You can share it to any of the things that you have on the device right away. Uh, we just have the stuff that came with the device, so we got color. Uh, that's been appearing on Verizon devices recently. Uh, and we have Google+, Plus, Gmail, lots of other things that come with uh, Ice Cream Sandwich now. Um, we also have Social Plus that comes with LG devices you know, on this Verizon device. Uh, we have Backup Assistant that comes from Verizon. Then we have Rich Note. If we go into Rich Note, we go into this uh, application which works right alongside Quick Notes. Um, and what we can do here is we can do cancel here so we can move through it. But uh, you can you know work with them more in depth in that. We go into notebook. This has several notes that we've already taken and allows you to see what your device is capable of. Now with travel note here you can uh, go ahead and have a whole notebook full of stuff. You can type out little things like that, add photos, you know, color on this page like that and do lots of fun stuff. Attach things, attach sounds and uh, make a whole notebook for yourself. It's a really nice uh, little interactive place there. Now the cool thing about this pen uh, beyond that, it's it's not actually that uh, intricate. It is the LG calls it the rubber DM pen. It is essentially just a capacitive pen. It's really solid. Uh, it has this little you know thing right here, so you can attach it to your pants or whatever you want. It doesn't fit in the device as the uh, Galaxy Note its pen does, but it is solid, works, good to go. You can also use it to tap on your home buttons and stuff like that too. The S Pen on the Galaxy Note does not do that sort of stuff. It's tuned to the device exactly with a different sort of technology. Now, what you've been seeing so far as we're going through here is Ice Cream Sandwich, but it has LG's interface on top of it. Now, I say on top of it, but we want to emphasize here that it's not exactly on top as you know user interfaces have been in the last few years. A, a lot of manufacturers have been making interfaces going working with Android rather than sitting on top of them as they used to be uh, and they're doing pretty good like LG this, this is a pretty good example of uh, LG using what Google has but making it uh, you know enhancing it rather than just uh, masking it another thing we have that's odd here especially with ice cream sandwich is the fact that on the bottom here we don't have just three buttons as a lot of uh, groups have opted to do we have the back button we have home button we have our recent apps button that's what we're getting here um, and we have another button right here, which is menu. Now this is using the sort of uh, design language that the rest of 
ice cream sandwich has been using, and the same with the jelly bean. But uh, it offers you the menu button from all different sorts of screens. So you have four buttons here rather than three, and it continues sort of the um, and Android language in general like that. From here on the home screen, you can go to your home screen settings, lock screen settings, uh, regular settings, and you can go to theme. Now if you go to theme, uh, LG is really good at allowing you to have different sorts of uh, sets of, uh, you know, icons and and uh, wallpapers and sets. So you can set this up to show you how your device is going to look. Now the difference between that and what we're going to do in a moment with MS NFC is that this is just a look, whereas what you can do with the NFC here with LG Tag Plus is you can change the whole uh, setup of your device. Now what you get with LG Tag Plus right out of the box is car mode, office mode, and sleep mode. Uh, you can set up a user mode in which you can change lots of different sort of things. Uh, you can set up an app, launch an application, turn your sound off or on, GPS off or on, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off or on as well. Now this isn't that intricate, um, especially compared to some other NFC solutions we've seen in the works so far, but it is working really well at this very moment and it works right out of the box. So what I'm going to show you here is uh, this device comes with a couple of NFC tags, as you can see right here. This one is pre-programmed with office mode. So if I take the device and I plop it just down on top, it immediately goes into office mode. So as you can see, nothing really changed except if you look here, it says office mode is on. Now what that did is it switched a, a Bluetooth on. I believe NFC was on, or I mean obviously NFC was on already. We have GPS on, uh, Vibrate is on rather than it being uh, audio and then it looks for Wi-Fi as well. Now we can deactivate that if we want. So we're back out of there. And then we're gonna go into car mode. Now if I go into here like this, car mode pops on and we immediately have our navigation up. So pretty cool. Another thing you can do with these NFC tags is they're pre-programmed with these ones, but you can uh, reprogram them right out of the box if you don't want car mode or uh, that sort of stuff you can immediately go into user mode and then uh, you know change it up as you wish. You can also do this, you can tap tags to erase them and restart them however you want. Uh, other than that, uh, we are working with an S3 processor here that's dual core. That's not quite the newest one from Qualcomm. Uh, Snapgrade, Snapdragon S4 is the newest one, but it is really, really swift here with S3. Uh, we've done some benchmarks as well as speed tests, so you can check those out. We've got speeds from both uh, Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota here as well as in New York City and uh, 4G LTE is working really well you can see that uh, we have a little bit different setup here so you can see that we do have some downloads on here this is the stuff we use to benchmark including Volamo uh, Quadrant standard stuff like that we also installed Asphalt 6 as well as Grave Defense HD uh, we won't be showing you those right now but I can assure you that you know for example Grave, Grave Defense really does work pretty awesome so this device is definitely an office machine and should be used as such. Check it out.